As you can tell, I am not present today. So thank you for scanning the QR code and doing the lesson. So open up your composition notebook to page one. Today, we are working on pages 34 and 35. Today is 1-31-19, and we are learning something called inequality. Inequality. So please copy that down on page one. When you're done, please open up your composition notebook to page 34. And we are, I would like for you to fix this mistake. I know this on previous assignments, people have done it this way. This, this is the equation. X divided by five and seven tenths equals six. Then I see students do it this way. Do you know what is the mistake? You may pause it at this time and figure it out. When you are ready to resume it, please press start so you can see the mistake. Oh, welcome back. So let's see what is wrong with this. First of all, this is divide. What is the inverse or the opposite operation of divide? It's multiply. But what are we multiplying by? We're multiplying by 5 and 7 tenths. So this is wrong. You should be multiplying by 5 and 7 tenths. Again, you must balance it on both sides. You cancel this out. So x is equal to 6 root of 5 and 7 tenths. Do you want to add 5 and 7 tenths 6 times? Or would you like to multiply 5 and 7 tenths by 6? Let's multiply. 6 times 7 is 42. Carry the 4. 6 times 5 is 30 plus 4 is 34. So it, x is equal to 34 and 2 tenths. To check your work, 34 and 2 tenths divided by 5 and 7 tenths equals 6. So the reason why I knew this was going to be wrong, first of all, all both of these numbers are positive. So we know our answer x has to be positive. Um, tonight you do have homework. It is worksheet 1 through 5. It looks like this, in case you're wondering. It looks like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Uh, you should have picked this from the back of the room. If you have not picked up your notes and your homework for tonight, please go in the back of the room and pick it up by now. So now, so today we are learning inequality. I wish we were here, the teachers were here in order to instruct you, but this is our best thing. So imagine you had tiles like these tiles. One equal, each yellow square represents positive one or one tile. I want you to grab less than eight tiles. What does that mean when you grab less than eight? This is less than eight. Could you grab zero tiles? Yes. Could you grab exactly eight tiles? No. When you're grabbing less than eight, what type of numbers would that be? What does less than eight mean? It could mean one tile, two tiles, three tiles, four tiles, five tiles, six tiles, seven tiles. But can I grab eight tiles? No, less than eight. So less than means a number that is smaller than what you started with. I would like you to grab more than eight tiles. So I'm gonna grab more than eight tiles. One, what? two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Is nine more than eight? Yes, it is. But can eight be a good answer? No, it has to be more than eight. So give me some examples of more than eight. It'd be like nine, 10, 11, 12, and dot, 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 and, and so on. Now, let's get a little harder. At least, grab at least eight tiles. When you hear the word at least, what does that mean to you? Grab at least eight tiles. Copy, paste it here. So, at least eight. I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Is that at least eight? Yes, it is. 
is eight tiles, at least eight. So this says you grab at least eight. It could be eight or more. So it could be eight tiles. The least amount. Least means the lowest amount you can grab. So it's grab at least eight, or the lowest you can grab is eight, but you can grab more than that. So eight or more. When you see grab at most eight tiles, what does that mean to you? At most eight tiles. How many would you grab? Hopefully, you said the most you can grab, that's the highest number you can grab, is eight. But can you grab nine? No, because the most you can have is eight. So that means it has to be eight, seven, six, or less. Eight, seven, six, eight or less. So less than means it cannot be eight, it has to be smaller than eight. More than means it can't be eight, it has to be higher than an eight. At least, that means eight is the lowest you can grab, but you can grab more than that. And when it says at most, eight is the most you can grab, but you have to grab less. Now, what does less grab less than or equal to eight? What does that mean, less than? So what numbers are less than eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Or it could be equal to eight. So those are, oh, zero. So that is less than eight. And then the last one is grab more than or equal to eight. So what does that mean to you? Grab more than or equal to eight? More than nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, dot, dot, dot. But I can equal to eight. So here it is. So less than or equal to eight What's another word for that? We've seen it here. Another word is at most. More than or equal to eight is eight or more. What's another way of saying that? At least. So for the next uh, week, we are gonna be learning inequalities. Inequalities are less than, less than or equal to, greater than, greater than or equal to. So you should have had this paper. What I would like you to do is you need to fold this paper in half. You need to take this to page 35. So you may pause it at this time so you have time to take the back of it to page 35. Welcome back. You will need a highlighter. If you do not have a highlighter, there may be some in the bucket, or, or you may need to borrow it from one of your uh, peers. So. You are going to see these words. So let's open it up. Should it should look like this? So less than. Okay. Yeah. So this symbol means less than. Less means fewer than. Below. All of these mean the same thing. This symbol means same thing like less than. But do you see this line right here underneath it? Imagine. It's like an equal sign, but they just erase. So they erase, where's my eraser? So they erase this part right here, the bottom part of it. So that's why it is less than or equal to. And what are the key words for less than or equal to? The key words for less than or equal to is at most, no more than, maximum, it is not greater than. This symbol means more than, greater than, above exceed all of these key words mean the exact same thing and this symbol is like more than but do you see how there's an equal sign here it means more than or equal to minimum that's the lowest you can have at least the lowest you can have and not less than it cannot be less or smaller than that so you will be using this uh this uh note for the next week. So it's very important that you have to take this to page 35. Make sure you have your highlighter. So less than, fewer than, below. This is the symbol. Can you give me examples of numbers that are less than, fewer than, or below 10? Give me some numbers. Um, what about nine? That's less than 10. That's fewer than 10. That's below 10. What about zero? Could you say, negative one could you say negative five could you say use the rational number eight and a half 
all of these are less than 10. But can it be 10? No, it has to be less than. So we are going to now make a number line out of this. So the way I do it is you put 10 in the center, name two whole numbers that are larger than 10, 11 and 12, and then you put 9 and 8. So now, when it says less than 10, can it be 10? So we are going to be doing something called open dot and close dot. So we need to draw an open dot. The open dot means it cannot be 10. Now take out your highlighter, and I want you to highlight those numbers that we notice here that are less than 10, like 9, 0, or negative 5, negative 1. Where would you find it on here? On the left side of 10 or the right side? Right here. So all of these are going to be less than 10. Do you see how there's an arrow at the end? That means they're pointing to all the numbers that are less than 10. So let me explain why we did not draw in or close up the dot. So do you see it could be like 9.9? 9.8. All of those are less than 10. By drawing an open dot, you're saying that it cannot be 10, but it could be all the numbers that are less than it. Now, next one. Give me examples of numbers that are less than or equal to, at most, can be 10, not more than 10, the maximum is 10, cannot be greater than 10. Can you give me some examples of numbers of such? So it cannot be, the maximum it could be is 10. So can it be 10? Yeah, it can. But can it be 11? No, it cannot be more, it cannot be more than 10. So it could be 9, it could be 7, it could be 6. It has to be less than 10. But can it be equal to 10? Yeah, it can be equal to 10. So it could be like 0, it could be negative 5. So pick two examples and put it right there. Now it's time to make a number line. So you put 10 right here. What are two whole numbers? 11 and 12, 9 and 8. So it has to be less than, or this line here means equal to 10. So we are going to draw something called a closed dot. That means it can be 10 because it can be equal to. This line here means this can be equal to 10. But now take out your highlighters. Which numbers did we write down are less than or equal to 10? Well, they are like 9, 7, 6, so that would be angels. So we made a number line that says 10 or less, or less than or equal to 10. Now, next one. Can you name numbers that are more than 10, greater than 10, above 10, exceeds 10? Um, 11 is more than 10. What about 15? That's more than 10. What about 10.1? Is that more than 10? Yeah. What about uh, 15 and 1 fourth? Is that more than 10? Yes. But can it be 10? No. It has to be higher, greater, above 10. It cannot be 10. There's no equal sign below it. So let's make a number line. So 10, 11, and 12. This is 9 and 8. So is it going to be an open dot or closed dot? If it has to be more than 10, it cannot be 10, so we do an open dot. Now take out your highlighter and highlight the numbers on this number line that are greater, more, above 10. 11 and 12 and so on are more than 10. So this is example of M is more than 10. Our last one is W is more than or equal to, so it's an equal sign, 10. That means the least it can be is 10. It cannot be less than 10. The minimum, that's the lowest it can be, is 10. So what are some numbers? Could it be 10? Actually, it could be. Because it says it can be more than or equal to 10. The minimum means the lowest it can be, 10. Can it be 15? Can it be 19? Yes, it can. So let's make a number line here. So it's 10, 11, 12. This is 9 and 8. So we, is it going to be open dot or closed dot? It's going to be a closed dot because it said it can be equal to 10. Take out your highlighter. It has to be more than or equal to 10. What are, which numbers are more than 10? 11 and 12. So you are going to refer back to this note to help you do your homework and the rest of the classwork.
So here's a video. Let me get the sound ready for you. Oh. So, this is a Singapore uh, drama. His name is Simon. He asked his crush, Nan Yu, out no more than 10 times. What does that mean, using one of these inequalities? So, I'm going to put a 10 right here. What does it mean, he asked his girlfriend out not more than 10 times? What numbers could that be? Give me some examples. It cannot be more than 10. 8. Is that not more than 10? It could be. Could it be 10? Actually, it could be. It cannot be more than 10, but it could be 10. Could it be 12? It cannot be more than 10. This number is more than 10. So it can't be. So which symbol shows it can be? 8 and 10, less than or equal to 10. Which one is it? Well, I know it's one of these, but which one is it? Less than or equal to 10? It's going to be this one. For those who have a hard time distinguishing the less than and greater sign, this is what Exley taught it, Patterson and um, Hayes taught it. This side has one dot. This has two dots. This T is less, this is the lesser side than this side. So T is less than or equal to 10. So that's how I do it, because I get kind of confused too. When I see this symbol right here, I know this side is larger, so this means more than. When I see this one, this side is smaller, so this side is less than or smaller than um, or fewer than. All right. So what we're going to do for the rest of the class is solve inequalities. Hopefully, you're going to notice a pattern here. Here's our first inequality. A plus 4 is, the side is less, less than 6. Let's model this. So the way you model, again, this is a variable. If I was here, if we were here, we would give you the algebra tiles, but we're not here. So let's draw this. Draw an A, draw plus 4, that's 4 positives. And you make a less than sum. So the difference between equation, you know how equation had an equal sign? We have to draw the inequality. So you draw six positives. I'm going to take out a different pen color so you can see how I'm doing this. Is A, we need to isolate A. That means A needs to be by itself. Any idea how to get rid of these four positives? What's the opposite of four positives? Inverse is four negatives. Make sure you balance it on the other side. This cancel, 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 cancel. Make zero pair. These two cancel with these. These two cancel. So the answer is A is less than 2. A is less than 2. Is this like solving equation? Hopefully you say yes. The only difference between equations and inequality is you have to draw the inequality side. You know what happens? Our tests so sad. Kids will do this, and instead of drawing this inequality sign, they'll put an equal sign and get it wrong. So A is less than 2. Now let's solve it algebraically. Maybe you don't like algebra tiles. So A plus 4 is less than 6. How can I isolate A? Any ideas how to get rid of plus 4? The inverse is minus 4. Don't forget to balance on the other side. This cancels. 6 minus 4 is 2. A is less than 2. So what does test points mean? Test points mean this. Oh, we need to make a number line of this. So make a number line here. So let's make a number line. So what goes in the middle here? 2. Name some numbers that are larger than 2. 3 and 4. Name some numbers that are less than 2. 1 and 0. Is it going to be an open dot or a closed dot? It has to be less than 2. Can it be 2? No. So make sure you draw an open dot. Now take out your highlighter. So highlight the numbers that are less than 2. Well, 1 and 0 are less than 2. Do you see why an open dot? It can't be 2. 
but it can be like 1.9, 1.8 latency. So what does test points mean? Test points means this. Let me take out different pen, pen colors so I can show you. The numbers you highlighted, I highlighted 1 and 0. Let's look at this. If I replace this A with a 1, what's 1 plus 4? Hopefully you says 5. Is that less than 6? Yes, it is. So that means we highlighted correctly. We chose the correct number to highlight. Let's do the next one. 2 is, this side is more, 2 is more than G minus 5. So let's model this. So I draw two positives. Don't forget to draw an inequality sign. Draw a G. If you want to, you label it G. Minus 5 is like negative 5. Let me take out a different pen color to show you what I'm doing. How can I isolate G? Any suggestion how to get rid of this minus 5? I need plus 5. Don't forget to balance it on the other side. This makes 0 pairs. So it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 is more than G. Is there another way to say this? We usually like putting the variable on the left-hand side. So 7 is greater than G. Do you see G? So let's put G here. G, is that facing the smaller side or the greater side? The smaller side. So G is less than 7. So 7 is bigger or greater than G. It's the same thing as this. 7 is facing the bigger thing. G is less than 7. Now let's solve it algebraically. 2 is more than G minus 5. How can I isolate G? I need to get rid of uh, minus 5. The inverse is plus 5. Plus 5, just cancel. 7 is more than G. Now let's graph this. So we need to put a 7 in the center. Name two integers that are greater than 7, 8 and 9. Two integers that are less than 7, 5 and 6. Is this going to be open dot or closed dot? It has to be less than. It can't include 7. So you need a big old, big old open dot. Now take out your highlighter and highlight numbers that are less than 7. 6 and 5 are less than 7. Test point is like checking your work. So let's check our work here. Give me a number that you highlight, 6. If I replace this G with 6, what's 6 minus 5? 1 is 2 more than 1. Yes, it is. So we highlight it and solved it correctly. Next example. 3M is greater more than or greater than equal to negative 9. So let's draw models. Draw 3Ms. Don't forget to draw the inequality sign and draw 9 negatives. So how many negatives does each M need? If I group, this M needs 3 negatives. So it's going to be M is greater or equal to negative 3. But how can I solve this algebraically? 3m less 3m is less than or equal to negative 9. What is is m isolated? Not yet. How can I get rid of this 3 times? The inverse is divide 3. Divide 3. This cancels out because 3 divided 3 is one whole. So this m is greater or equal to negative 9 divided by 3 is negative 3. Same answer. Let's graph this. Negative 3. What are two integers that are larger than negative 3? Negative 2, negative 1, 0. What are two integers that are smaller? Negative 4 and negative 5. Is this going to be open dot or close dot? It says m has to be greater. It could be equal. It could be the, the same as negative 3. So we have to close this dot up. Now take out your highlighter. Which numbers here are larger, greater than, or equal to negative 3? 0. Positive numbers are in here. They're going to be bigger than negative, so it'll be here. So pick a test point to check your work. I'm going to pick negative 2. No, you know, let's pick 0. 0 is an easy one to work with. What's three groups of 0? Zero? 0. Is 0 going to be more than a negative? Yes, it is. Check mark to us. And our last one, we're not going to really model this one. We're just going to solve it. I mean, you could model it if you want to, but we're not going to model it because it's so much easier solving this, I'll be honest. Is x isolated? No. What is the inverse of divide 2? Multiply 2. 
do it balance it on both sides just cancel x is less than or equal to 8. so let's graph this this is 8 this is 9 and 10 7 and 6 x has to be less than or equal to 8 less than or equal can it be 8 yes so we have to close the dot up take out your highlighter and highlight the numbers that are less than or equal to 8 those are these numbers let's check our work we always try to check our work so i'm going to use six replace the x six divided by two is three is that less than or equal to four check mark so as you notice hopefully you can tell me i'm going to ask this tomorrow is an equation like an inequality it is equation has an equal sign inequality has these type of sign so you just solve it like an equation so I would like you now to do your homework now, one through five. Thank you for watching this video.